Times publisher press Trump on anti-press rhetoric file in this December 13, 2017 file photo AG. Salzberger poses for a photo on the 16th floor of the New York Times building in New York. Trump met with the publisher of the New York Times to discuss media coverage of his administration, including the president's oft-repeated accusation that the media is the enemy of the people, Trump and the newspaper said Sunday, July 29, 2018. The meeting with A.G. Salzberger occurred July 20, the White House and Times said. Damon Winter, The New York Times via AP, File, Washington, AP, the publisher of The New York Times, says he took President Donald Trump to task for deeply troubling anti-press rhetoric that is not just divisive but increasingly dangerous when the two met privately at the White House this month. Trump disclosed the meeting on Twitter on Sunday, saying he and A.G. Salzberger spent much time talking about the vast amounts of fake news being put out by the media. He said the July 20th meeting was very good and interesting. Salzberger, who succeeded his father in the role on Jen. 1. Said his main purpose for accepting the meeting was to raise concerns about the president's deeply troubling anti-press rhetoric. I told the president directly that I thought that his language was not just divisive but increasingly dangerous, he said. Salzberger said he told Trump that while the phrase fake news is untrue and harmful, I am far more concerned about his labeling journalists the enemy of the people. I warned that this inflammatory language is contributing to a rise in threats against journalists and will lead to violence. Salzberger said he stressed to Trump that leaders of other countries have adopted his rhetoric to justify cracking down on journalists. He was accompanied to the meeting by James Bennett, the Times editorial page editor. I warned that it was putting lives at risk, that it was undermining the democratic ideals of our nation, and that it was eroding one of our country's greatest exports, a commitment to free speech and a free press, the publisher said. Salzberger added that he made clear to Trump that he was not asking him to soften his attacks on the Times if he thinks the newspaper is being unfair. Instead, I implored him to reconsider his broader attacks on journalism, which I believe are dangerous and harmful to our country, he said. Trump reads the Times and gives interviews to its reporters, but regularly derides the newspaper as the failing New York Times. The Times ownership company in May reported a 3.8% increase in first quarter revenue compared to the same period in 2017. The president, who lashes out over media coverage he thinks is unfair, has broadly labeled the news media the enemy of the people and regularly accuses reporters of spreading fake news, his term for stories he dislikes. Hours after the tweet about the Salzberger meeting, Trump lobbed fresh attacks against the media in a series of posts that included a pledge not to let the country be sold out by anti-Trump haters in the dying newspaper industry. Trump also accused reporters of disclosing internal deliberations of government that can endanger the lives of many. He cited no examples but wrote very unpatriotic, and said freedom of the press comes with a responsibility to report the news accurately, a sentiment journalists share. Trump also claimed that 90% of the coverage of his administration is negative, leading to an all-time low in public confidence in the media. He cited The Times and The Washington Post to repeat targets and claimed they will never change. Last week, Trump told hundreds of people attending the annual Veterans of Foreign Wars convention in Kansas City, Missouri, don't believe the crap you see from these people, the fake news, as he gestured toward journalists at the back of the room. He also told them to remember, what you're seeing and what you're reading is not what's happening. Salzberger said he accepted the invitation to meet Trump because Times publishers have a history of meeting with presidential administrations and other public figures who have concerns with the publication's coverage of them. He said he decided to comment after Trump revealed that they had met. The White House had asked for the meeting to be kept off the record. Underscore 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 follow Darlene Superville on Twitter, http colon slash slash www.twitter.com slash the Supervilli copyright copyright 2018 The Associated Press. All rights reserved. This material may not be published broadcast, written or redistributed.